morning guys into the stars <clears throat> the Lord uses us all now the interest the gold trail the Lord's put me on with end of the stars is to do with the copper and to do with the red balloons now up to here he's talking about a movie called 100 I think was it called yeah the 100 <coughs> series <coughs> you can't see that, I think. The way the storyline is, it is very predictive and it is, well, what caught my eye, you can watch, I'll link it, was the ash pile from the ashes. They will rise. Because it always harkens back to the dream where my daughter, sorry, my sister set me up, but the Lord gave me a dream before it happened was over my mother's rings it was in February of 2019 basically she was the foreman I was working for her in construction we were above a theatre I was sanding down some which is really strange because here I am recycling some Rimu flooring it was really wide like the TARDIS it was bigger than a Remu board would be and there was a big knot in it a hole I said this is a health and safety issue right which harkens back to the 17th when I said <clears throat> this is a health and safety issue and she just manifests and said look just put it in and because she was the boss of me which the Lord was rebuking me for I did as she said and my fear was that someone would fall into it, which takes me back to the 17th, basically the hole under the container, which is just being quickened to me now. I put it in and guess who falls into it? Me, head first, down into this theatre. It's dark, it's full, everyone, there's no way they could miss me, I'm right at the front, about three or four rows back, that I land in between the seats on my head. Now my head bends like you would break a neck. It folded, but I got up and I was fine, which is once again the same old thing that the Lord shows me. Like, <clears throat> like when I was shot three times and I just dusted off the blood. <clears throat> it's, um, it's a picture of an overcomer. So I stood up, walked down the aisle, went up, to the stage there was three musicians one of them flicked their eyes to the center of the stage so I knew they'd given it away and I went past the singer behind the singer and there was a tin there was iron which is I have bits of iron here I mean this dream was in February 2019 before I come to the gold mine so there were bits of iron one bit of iron and behind the iron there was the other part of the musicians there was like guitarists there were trumpets trumpeters on the left and there was like a guitar a bass guitar a drum and and something else it was a full band but they had hidden something on the stage I lifted up the iron and it was an ash pile so that's what the Lord has quickened to me from this 100 movie but the reason why I watched it is because of the 99 red balloons now my daughter Amy has like the Lord's going to turn her up right I know that but at the moment and she was doing this from 2018 she gives me signs now she said everything goes back to Egypt which follows through with what Jonathan Clegg has just load, uploaded. I've fallen asleep twice to that Egyptology video that I'm trying to watch. <laughs> Two nights now. Still not through it. Very dull. But out of obedience, I'm going to watch it. Now, everything leads to Egypt. Now, when I um, was going through all the stuff in the house, before we sold it, I found a drawing and I said to Amy, 
here's your drawing and I gave it back to her but I photographed it it was a drawing of the phoenix which is basically the Egyptian phoenix it was like a falcon and it had in its in its claws two onks and she said to me that's the last drawing I did before she left in 2017 to go to Bali Okay, so basically it'd been sitting there for all this time hidden and then I showed her it and she took it. But I photographed it, I knew it was significant and it has become very significant. You can see that. Now the other significant thing was that when I read, because she, because the Lord allowed this, she left her computer open when she ran away with psychosis thinking that my husband and I were going to murder her. I looked through all her information all her conversations and I saw that she said well actually this is something she literally said to me when she was out from an assessment from Hormonton she said that when she was in the underworld she was approached by two things and one was it from the movie with the red balloons and the other one was a kraken so I've always looked at it and the red balloons and I'm just going to play this because I know that into the Stars is just about to give us a summary of what the Lord has shown him about red balloons. What will come of it, I don't know, but I just want you to be aware of these red balloons. They've done the switcheroo and turned them into yellow balloons, happy faces, which the Lord showed me beforehand as well, because that was, it's like you've got to flip it, flip it, flip it, remember? That's what they're saying on the mainstream media. It's flipped. Can you hear it? So, these yellow balloons were a theme of something that the Lord was showing me in the future, like a ministry. I thought it was, and it probably is when you flip it, because everything's getting turned up now, a ministry that the Lord had, a glory ministry, with what was going to happen and what the time is now meant. So let's watch this. So I have the yellow balloons on my icon, you can see it. One crying, one to sleep. But I took, I, made, I bought happy faces, little booklets for children, all sorts of things to do with the theme of the happy faces. Part, and we'll talk a little bit more about this. It's almost complete. We'll use the Mori again. So they use various people to manipulate the others into taking the chip, which feels like it's happening right now. Now, the Holy Spirit warned about these red balloons in 2017, for those of you that follow this channel. It started, and I'm gonna recount it very quickly here. It started with these balloons being released during the 2017 eclipse, they were released by NASA. Then we identified Nina's 99 red balloon revival tour which seemed to be ushering in or kicking something off. Then we rediscovered the 1970s Red Balloons Operation Sea Spray, in which the U.S. military sprayed red balloon-shaped bacteria called Seradia margensins over the people of San Francisco, and it was a bioweapon experiment. And they had already known this as the 1930s, this particular pathogen was a pathogen and that it was lethal several people died many of you will remember i went out, i reached out to the i think it was the grandson or the son of one of the people that died asking him to interview him and he declined but it but at first he had went to go sue the government and they must he must have settled he probably has some kind of non-disclosure agreement and he can't even talk about it. but he did email me back for those of you that well I don't think we're allowed to give out personal information, but suffice to say, I can redact his email address and uh, show you the email that he sent me in reply that he didn't want to get involved. Then, right about that time, we read about Operation Cherry Blossom, where the Japanese sent toxic balloons over the jet stream across the Pacific Ocean and that it actually killed American citizens. Cherry blossoms look like red balloons as well. There was all this pre-programming going on. All of this was in 2017, you guys. 
Then we found a Metallica video that we decoded called All Nightmare Long. All of this was before the spam demic. All Nightmare Long in the music video shows these balloons coming over the jet stream, much like Operation Cherry Blossom, but there was other elements in that music video that seemed to foreshadow what we are about to go through right now. About that time, we were warning people to get out of the big cities that a plague was coming. And then during one of the eclipses, the makers of the TV series called The Strain, they tweeted out during the eclipse that the master is here. That's what the tweet said. So we knew an eclipse would bring this plague. And of course, The Strain was all about a plague that turns people into vampires. And then it happened on Eclipse Day 2019, December 26th, the first CV-19 case was identified in China. Now, when I was decoding all this, I was in the moment, in the spirit. I was presenting to you guys the information, and I wasn't trying to predict it, anything. And many of you know that because people kept back to me, asking me, what good is this if you're not predicting anything? And I said, hindsight is twenty twenty. Well, we've come full circle. And now in hindsight, we can look back and see that we had predicted what was happening right now. It has all come to pass. And most people now will wish they were out of these big cities because we're hearing stories daily. I think Brian just uploaded a video. These parents got some kind of letter in Michigan basically threatening that their child would be taken away if they didn't conform and, and quarantine their child because they got contact traced. Do you want to be living in that city right now? I wouldn't. I'd be want to, I'd want to be as far away as possible on some land in a town of 3,000 people. That's where I'd want to be right now. Now, most of those videos that I just recounted are still up on the channel, but many of those of you who were subscribed at the time when we went through all this can attest to everything I just said to silence the naysayers. Now let's keep going with this because the AI gets cornered and has no choice but to upload the, re the remnants of its programming to the ARC space station. We're going to watch that part next. It migrates its software up to the space station just like Satan wants to elevate himself above the Most High. He wants to crown himself king. <clears throat> and that's what I believe. The other thing that's interesting is that there's 12 tribes in this, but th there's really 13. The 13th one is the space station up there. Well, when I had the visit from Christopher Palmer, just before he manifested and released the spirit of death in the Glory Hut, 2018, June, he said, after he saw, and I've said over again, my one way sign, which was pointing up, because there is only one way, that's when it dawned on him, and the angel of the bottomless pit took over, and he said to me, I have an army, and I knew straight away I was in the spirit, right? I knew something was going on, and I said, well, are oh, you? Yeah. How many in your army? See, in the back of my head, I knew that the Lord had just told me about the army, the eaglets that I carry. I said, how many in your army? And he said, nine. And then he said, eleven. He said, oh no, nine. Well, that wasn't a mistake. He wasn't double-minded. He knew what he was saying. But I didn't know, because I didn't know about those two numbers. And I said, oh yeah. I said, well, I have an army too. And there's 13 in my army. Now why is there 13? There's 12 on my back and including me, 13. It's a little bit like the disciples, isn't it? And who am I? The eagle that carries on eagle's wings. Symbolically, it's the same as Jesus and Isaiah. He will carry us on his wings, right? So that sort of confused him, and he said, oh, oh. 
He said, I think he finalised it with 11. He said, oh, maybe there's 12 then. <laughs> then he said, can you feel that? And that's when he released death. So the Lord is always ahead of the game. He had an army and I had an army. But he was really just trying to broadcast the ritual. Do you understand? Now, I don't know if I want to play any more. But there is something about it. Because I went to the, I'd never seen the movie, but I went to the most recent, and it was ridiculous. But at the end, there is a portal, and he comes down in the form of orbs, and then he turns and manifests into his spider, and then into it, and then some ridiculous ending where they call him names, and he turns into a baby, and they overcome him. Well, they did use words, and there's truth in that. Because when I was getting into, in a vision, the Ford Courier, which is the vehicle, when I, it's like, when, it's like when I was called into Christ, because he's the vehicle, I was jumping in the passenger seat. There's a warning about jumping in the passenger seat. We're just the caravan, we're the vessel. You really, it's a humbling, it's a very humbling thing to just be a vessel for God, but what a privilege, eh? That's why the angels that did not leave their first estate serve us. They're our, our messengers and they are there for us. And I have many dreams which I've shared where he showed, the uh, angel has showed me where to hide. And most recently I shared this is why I have faith in my son Josh that he was down from the hospital where I, I was at a hospital for some reason. It's where my mother took me once to buy milk. She was anorexic, basically, and she had to go there for a prescription milk. I was there to buy milk. The lady in the counter, this is before the, the anything, <clears throat> the lady in the counter growled at me for putting my hands, my dirty hands, she said, on the counter. And I looked at the counter and it was filthy. It was like a contradiction. Then when I left there, I didn't have glory. And I was looking, I wasn't looking for glory. I went back to get glory. And this is a real park at the bottom of Cashmere Hills. And this is a real hospital, St. Margaret's Hospital, across the road, roundabout. So down the road, I used to take my kids to the park. So I'm standing on the footpath looking at this park, which goes quite up a steep bank beautiful park but there's a bench seat and Glory's there playing on the grass and my son has Glory he obviously was waiting for me he's sitting on a bench seat whenever I often the Lord shows me angels on a bench seat like Los Angeles there's a, a bench seat called at the angel bench in Los Angeles it's from the movie 500 days of summer it's a plaque well he's sitting on the bench seat with a man and I didn't know at the time just like I didn't know in the other dream I had where a man came and showed me how to hide because I was lighting up when these planes were targeting us detectives I didn't recognize him as an angel now that happens often in scripture that angels aren't recognized so you need the Holy Spirit to show you when you've met with an angel. Well, that was an angel that told me how to hide. And it was an angel that was sitting on the bench seat with my son. And he had glory. And that's his glory visitation. And that's all it's going to take, guys. And he's on my wings. And he gets to go to a place where I believe is more to do with a wilderness place to, to be taken, to be hidden, where the dragon goes back with vengeance to pursue the saints remaining on the earth or in the earth on the earth so there are saints on the earth that he goes after and there were some taken to the wilderness it's very clear in scripture but I'm not going home without you is a song that the Lord quickened from nomad which is my son's friend's band and I, it's my heart is not to go home without you. So I really do struggle with this whole. Look, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't understand. I know I'm in the Church of Philadelphia. And I just watched Jonathan Clicks 
last video, which I will link. He's not predicting dates, but the Lord is quickening to him that it's time for the harvest. Now, I sat here Christmas between 2019-2020, which is the December when these balloons began, um, which are basically all, which is basically what they put all over the US and the, and the world on the map, the balloons, where the um, V, where the virus had, um, Corona had hit. Now, where was I? I can't remember where I was. I was talking about the balloons, December. Um... Oh yeah, so that Christmas, just before 2020 Christmas, before the, the communist invasion during which I had in the January, either the 6th or the 9th, um, I was sitting here before Christmas, just about to go to Christchurch, and the Lord said, I'm coming to get you. So that's what I know. I heard him so clearly, he just said, I'm coming to get you. So he's going to come pick me up, like, and it just, this is the picture he gave me, like, you know, when someone texts you and says, I'm coming to get you, and you run out to the gate. So, I know that. But I also know I'm not going home without you. So what's going on here? We know that the Church of Philadelphia become pillars in the New Jerusalem. And they come down on the clouds with as the hosts of heaven in the rapture that takes the light from the earth. And then there is only dark. You know when Jesus comes, right? So what happens before that? Uh, who goes somewhere, comes back? I do believe in. There's a there's a plan that's that's. Um, we just don't get out of here. Some of us serve. There is two witnesses. There are two groups of witnesses. Who are they? Nobody ever talks about them. So just keep praying about those two groups of witnesses, and also pray about the greater things that we will do in Jesus' name, which we haven't seen, and also pray about the latter rain, which we haven't seen, and also pray about the harvest. And just know where you fit in. It makes no difference who you are. In Christ, we are all equal, and that is the truth.